Another one of our hero ingredients is kumaraho, or commonly known as gum digger's soap. Now it's called gum digger's soap because of the early settlers, European settlers up in Northland, when they used to dig for the cowrie gum, at the end of the day, they'd take some of the buds, the flowers, the leaves, they could crush them together in their hands, add a bit of water, and it would lather up and they could use that to clean off the, the grime and the dirt from the day's work. So, Greg, what makes it lather? It contains a group of compounds known as saponins. So saponins are responsible for uh, the surfactant properties, so they create the gentle lathering that you have. It's good that it contains the saponins because it allows us to avoid using such harsh chemicals such as sodium lauryl sulfate, mm. um, and it's very, very mild and gentle on the skin. We use it in things like our shampoos, our shower gels, our body bars, our eye makeup remover, our men's shaving products. So let's grab some of the kumara, hey? take a few leaves and some of the flowers, and we'll head down to the river, and we'll use it for a gentle wash. So here we can demonstrate the lathering properties of the kumara. Hey? Start to crush them between your hands, add a little bit of water. Look at that. Notice oh, that? Wow. It's really incredible. Look Massive lathering properties. Good. You won't find many plants that can do that. It's amazing. It feels so good. It's like a... It does. It's non-stripping, so you don't feel as though your hands are being stripped of any of the natural oils.